Hello, I'm Dr. Ron England, and this little short video is to take you through regression, uh, regression analysis using the SMATA Online tool. Now, SMATA Online is really a set of tools used for stormwater management, but we're going to look at some of the statistics routines built into SMATA. Uh, I have actually logged into SMATA Online right now, and the URL is smataonline.com. However, you do not need to actually create a login or login to use the statistics routines here. You simply have to, um, if you want to save anything, you'd be able, you, you would have to log in to be able to save data. So I'm going to click on statistics routines, which will take you to a, a menu here. Right now there are two statistics routines, and if you come out to Smart Online, don't be alarmed if you see more statistics routines because I'm constantly adding routines here. And right now I have distribution analysis and, re distribution analysis and regression analysis. Let's take a look at the regression analysis routines here. Now, the way this is designed to work, let's say, make sure that okay, it's connecting. The way this is designed to work is to be able to really take uh, data directly from a spreadsheet easily. Now, the first screen that you would see is the screen where you would see any data that you currently have and have the ability to create a new regression analysis here. I don't have any data underneath this login, so I'm going to hit create new regression, and it's going to take me to the regression screen. Once I do that, I will have the ability to save that. And if I do save it, it's going to come back to this screen and, sh and be shown underneath your data. But um, I'm not going to actually do that for this example here. Now, right now, you've actually got, uh, this is the regression analysis screen here. And there are really three things on that screen to enter. One is a name for the data that you have. And that is required if you plan on saving the data. I'm just going to come up with a simple name, data set one. And then I have the regression method which I can choose from different regression methods. All of these regression methods are conversions to a linear method and then the actual calculation of the regression parameters. So essentially the way regression is going to work here is we're going to enter Y data and X data and it's going to calculate A and B so that it fits this specific curve and you have multiple curves to choose from here. Okay, so. Let's see, where am I going to get my X and Y data? Well, you can get X and Y data from many sources, but I really want SMATA to be easy, easy to use and work very well with where you would normally keep data, which in this case is in a spreadsheet. So I'm going to take this data from a spreadsheet. Here's my X values, and here are my Y values, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that data. So I'm just going to control C for copy, and move the spreadsheet out of the way, and I'm going to go into this text box, and I'm going to paste it. If you read the information in the text box, it's, box it simply says, enter the data as XY pairs, one per line. So that's what I've done, XY pairs, one per line. Now, I'm going to scroll down a little bit because the next button I want to hit is the Calculate button. I will click Calculate, and what it's going to do, and I'm going to actually spread this out a little bit so you have it, so it's easier to read. Okay, It's going to create this little report view that you see right here. Um, I did this with the linear regression. Here's my values, my actual y's, and my calculated y's. I also have the ability to do one other thing here. I'll move this back over, is I have the ability to plot the data. Okay, I'm going to move my plot over a little bit here. Okay, so you can see the data set one and, and its plot of actual versus predicted values. We can knock that out of the way by clicking done. I can see this in a report view here. I'll click on report view. Okay, and a report view is essentially going to just give it a screen that makes it very easy to copy and paste this data from one place to another, including the plot that goes with the data. So it's the same information you had already seen in this previous view, which was what we call the table view, which is shown here right here with the actual data itself. Now, one of the things I could do with this is I can change the, uh, the, the regression equation. So let's say we want a regression equation that uses, in this case, a uh, exponential equation and hit click calculate. It's going to go ahead and recalculate. You're going to see different values here. If I were to turn around and plot, the plot's going to look a little bit different in this case. Not tremendously different because they both fit pretty well. Um, I'm not going to go into the depths of understanding all the different parameters associated with, the uh, with doing uh, regression, but Here's how this works if you're trying to actually get back to the original equation. Here's the equation that's used, y equals a times e to the bx power. Your a value is right, uh, your, see, your a value is 2.6441, your b value is 0.3533. You substitute those numbers into here, you're going to have the equation that was fit there with an r squared value of 0.9398. Pretty straightforward. 
That is a very simple how to perform linear regression using this model online tool. It's very quick, it's very easy to use, and hopefully it'll be very useful to you. And this little help video uh, gave you everything you needed to do to be able to go in and do regression analysis. Thank you very much.